Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. So we're here at the 2014 Interbike and we're ready to talk about the new TR1 Gen X racing machine. You're gonna want this thing so, I mean, it's crazy what they've done here, super, super cool. We got Pierre here, he's gonna walk through, take us through step by step, why this is the bike you should be on this year. Take it away. Good, thank you. First, uh, last, uh, last weekend at the World 70.3 uh, Ironman Championship, that bike uh, was the fastest on the course. Though Woo! basically it broke the uh, course record on a 70.3 uh, world. Um, basically, we, when we developed that, uh, that bike, we had four points in mind. We did focus group with age grouper, with pro, uh, with dealers, uh, and we bring priority in development. So that was what the, the, the driven point for, uh, for the building that bike. So the number one was fit and geometry. Um, we we worked uh, pretty hard to make sure that uh, every size, you can achieve a perfect fit and a sustainable position for long distance triathlon. So number one, fit. So we work with retool fit system we work, we, to make sure that we, make, we cover all the bases on every, every size. Cool. Second point was hydration uh, and nutrition on the bike. Okay. People want a real, real life bike that you can, they can train with it and yeah. can carry their hydration. So we make sure that we have enough uh, space to put a uh, regular bottle, uh, two bottles on, on, on a triangle. At the top, we have a, a gel box that can, can be adapted, and at the back, it's adaptable for two bottles at the back. Oh, cool. And obviously, you can use your regular uh, hydration in the front. So basi basically, we cover all the nutrition aspect on the bike, and it's real life. So the bike have been designed aerodynamically to work with a regular bottle, a round bottle. Right. So the perfect uh, angle at, of attack of, uh, for that bike is from 12 to 15 degrees, and it's where it's faster with a bottle. Awesome. So basically, that's what we want, and we want people to be able to use their their bottle to train and, and race. Um, the other aspect, of course, is the aerodynamic of the bike. Yeah. As you can see, leading edge everywhere. So we went uh, three different level of development. So first is a, a virtual analysis, computerized model. Uh, then we went wind tunnel, and then we work with the guys at Alpha Mentis on the track in Los, Los Angeles with uh, aero sticks to make sure that the bike in the real life with a rider on it pedaling got the most efficient. So we cover all the base of the aerodynamic. The last point that we got from the focus group was basically the handling of the bike. We all, we all know that those guys are riding deep dish wheel like this, right. and it's got, the wind's got lots of effect on those, uh, yeah. on those bike. And one thing that we learned in wind tunnel with and the Alpha Mentis on the track is as soon as the bike start to swivel like this, you're losing all your aero advantage that you're yeah, yeah. trying to build with your position and right. helmet and everything. Right. So we need the bike to be to stay in a, on, a, on a straight line to be super efficient aerodynamically. So what we did, we decentralized the center of gravity of the fork to give less effect of the wind on the way on the on the wheel. So basically, the bike is more stable in the front and. Uh, we spent uh, two days uh, at the demo day and people were coming back and you know it was super windy at the demo day. Yeah. And people were coming back from the test saying that bike it's is amazing. stable. Awesome. So again, was tested with uh, in real, real condition. So TR1, again, um, we signed uh, Lionel Sanders, a young Canadian, finished fourth at the world. That guy is the next thing, Garno et Tuto with the TR1. Awesome. Also, I see you've got the brakes integrated, everything is, uh routed internally in the frames, all that kind of stuff. So you've looked at every detail on the bike. And as you can see, it's fully customable. That's one thing I yeah. know is unique too. You can basically build your own kit and we're gonna custom paint your bike matching every every custom we have. So we can have a cycling strong Perfect. matching. TR1. Wow, and, uh, how cool is that, right? We all need that. So I hope everybody out there gets a cycling strong TR1 bike so we can have a whole bunch of you out there racing. That would be sweet. Anyway, thank you so much for walking us through this bike and uh, what an amazing piece of work. So we'll stay tuned and if you guys have any comments, please make them below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that. Keep out there cycling strong.